Notre Dame. Notre Dame at Syracuse on Saturday morning. This one's 12 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. And I will tell you, um, this line is Syracuse minus two and a half, and the total is 48. And I would have never imagined that a letdown game for Syracuse would be against Notre Dame. And yet here we are. They were this close to having a monster win at Clemson last week and just let it kind of slip through their fingers. Um, but they, let's be honest, maybe a little bit lucky to be in that situation, of course, with that fumble return. Uh, that was a 14-point swing in that game. Um, let me pull it up on the screen here so you can see the stats. And I'll go on and tell you the trends. Notre Dame 5-0 and against the spread. Their last five against ACC competition. They are 10-1 and against the spread on the road against winning teams. They are 21-8-1 and against the number in their last 30 on the road. This team, they seem to play well on the road. They have not played well at home, which is not where they're playing. They're playing in the Dome this week. Syracuse does play well at home. 9-2 and two against the spread at home, 9-4 and four against the spread against winning teams. They are 10-2 and two against the spread following a spread win. So let's look at the numbers. Let's see what the numbers tell us. Over the past five weeks, the data from those weeks only has Syracuse favored by 5.61 in this spot. I don't know how much I trust it. Uh, The situation is a little weird, but I would imagine that by the time we get to Saturday, Syracuse will be amped up to play against Notre Dame. This is on ABC. It is a big-time spot for them. Their offense, number 55 PPA per pass, number 5 in passing success rate, Notre Dame does do a good job of stopping uh, the passing success, right? They're number 13 in that spot, but they're number 82 in PPA per pass on defense. You look at standard downs PPA, Syracuse has a tough time staying ahead of the chains, uh, at least over the past few weeks. They're number 99 in standard downs PPA, number 68 in standard downs rate, and number 70 in standard downs success rate. Notre Dame, while not great, I mean, they're number 63 in standard downs PPA. Uh, number 13 in standard down success. So they get teams behind the chains. Now, once you do that, what happens? Well, Notre Dame's defense, number 88 in passing downs PPA, but number 30 in passing down success. This is where Syracuse has been killing teams. They get behind the chains. They're number two in passing downs PPA. They are number five in passing down success rate. So something to pay attention to whenever Syracuse has the ball right there as far as when Notre Dame has the ball. They have been able to run pretty well here lately, number 14 in rushing success rate, but they don't score a lot of points. That's where it gets tricky. Number 82 in PPA per rush, that's that ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. Points per scoring opportunity. At, look, Notre Dame gets the number four scoring opportunities per game over the last five weeks. 8.5 times per game do they get inside the opponent's 40-yard line. They're only putting up 3.74 points per drive. That is not good. It's number 78. Syracuse's defense, number seven in the country at stopping drives. Points per per scoring opportunity for Syracuse's defense, number seven. They're giving up 2.63. So a little bit of a strength on strength here. Uh, Syracuse's defense, really, really good against the pass. I would not expect Notre Dame to throw it much. They are throwing at a 40% clip right now um, as far as over the past five weeks. They are going to try and run the ball quite a bit. And we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. Um, I will take Syracuse in this spot because I think once once they get woken up and everything, th- this is a different team in the Dome. This defense is good. Robert and I on offense is good. I don't trust Notre Dame as far as I can throw them right now. So give me Syracuse to cover two and a half here. I, uh, I like the orange quite a bit. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>